Hello and welcome to this video on Sitecore's new editing experience. Today we're going to hear from Sitecore's senior product manager Alexey Vashenko as he takes us through it. All right. So what is the Horizon? It's absolutely new editing experience specifically designed for authors and marketeers to get jo job done as fast as possible. So think about it as an experienced editor on steroids, where steroids are a new architecture, new technology, and special UX design to speed up the things and get job done. So it's easy to understand, and it's providing you a better time to, uh, better time to value, better time to market. So we did a huge research on what people complain about current user experience in the experience editor. And we found out a huge bunch of things we would like to improve. It's performance, is the way you communicate with the user experience, it's the way how you actually create the content and how you publish. So we take all this knowledge and put it inside one specific UI which should solve those problems. However, looking into this design, it's kind of not fitting in the current UI, right? So there should be an ecosystem regarding this, and we are working on it. So the ecosystem will contain from, from the bench of different applications. So we are talking about Horizon right now, and it's a new thing, creating new experience to power, powered by insights. So the next thing is the launch pad. So the launch pad, is basically your everyday work start, personalize it specifically for you when you log in into the system, when you see that one, it's, it's specifically designed to either start your work, day-to-day -day work, or move you where you were when you finish your work the day before. So specifically design it and uh, allows you to quickly update, see the updates, what's going on in the system, what other people are doing, so you can collaborate and interact with other guys and immediately go into the right thing you would like to do on your current job. In fact, we are actually doing a lot of research right now, so if you're interested and would like to provide us with more information on what you would like to see on the launch pad, after this session, please contact me. We will kind of organize the session with you where you can provide the feedback. It's very important. So the personalization for the launch pad is the key point of moving things around your work. So please come to me. <laughs> Zenit, next thing. So the Zenit is the content tool. So if the horizon is covering you with a page edit and experience, the, the Zenit is something that will cover your content, your structure. So it, allow, it will allow you to store, to manage, to move around the, your content. Basically, something, something is right now solved by, con by the content editor, but in the, for the content editor, it's like kind of mixes right now. So you have to switch your context. So in this new ecosystem, the, the Zenit will be directly focused on headless content. So you can manage this one, work with your structure, both tree structure and flat structure. And um, on this session, I will be not talking about the Zenit, but after the session, you can also come and we can discuss more if you have more questions. So this is, this is approximate UX, how it will look like. So you actually also can join our partner boot where our UX guides, uh, guys will be able to showcase some of those. Finally, part of this ecosystem is new after-personalization after insights. So something uh, that will be, able, will be available in the future, something that we're also working on right now, is ability to provide you with uh, hints how you actually can enable the IE personalization and be able to interact with your, with your users and customers. So, Talking about more about Horizon. So we are about to release it. So 9.3, it will be general available as a package that will be able to install by Sitecore installation framework. It's, from the first glance, it's MVP. So we have to understand that it will not be a picture priority with all the 
existing experience editor functionality. So it's a new architecture, new design, new approach, and we are moving in, with, in, a, in a cycle to improve this one. So it will be designed basically for uh, quick things like product page updates, blog posting, editing the pages, quick publishing, moving through the workflow. I will show you in a moment on the, on the demo session all of this one. But page editing, the, the horizon is not only about the page editing. So it's an editing first tool, but it also will enable you to see how your content will be look like and insights on how your existing content already progressing on the website. So with the horizon, you will be able to simulate your website in a different environment, such as laptop, iPad, iPhone, and so on and so forth. And insights will enable you to understand which content progress well, which content progress less, and how you can use this information in order to improve your content. So let me just switch to the demo thing. So uh, we have a very tiny demo for this one. Right now, I'm an um, owner of car dealer website. And uh, my job for today is that I have a new car. So two, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of Porsche. And two months ago, the, probably some of you who are also fans know that they just released the Taycan. So I once also joined this thing, and I won't start promoting this and start selling this. So I have my website and it's, it's running perfectly. And what I want to do is to add a new page so I can start my things. So I have uh, my home page, car home, and I have some vehicles already been here. So for now, I don't have a kind of pure electric car section, but I have hybrids and I have a bunch of them already here. So. I would like to add one more. I create a page and I create it from the insert options, which already been predefined. And I need to provide a name for it. So, right. So I have my page and what I, want, what I need to do right now is to choose an image for this one. So I quickly uh, click on the image and I want to add from my gallery. So it's a regular gallery that is available in content uh, in the CM. So I have my mission e-concept, beautiful one, and I wanted to add it. So also I want to provide some text like, I don't know, by now. Super great. What I love, really love about Horizon is, it, uh, please notice that I'm not moving my mouse anywhere. I'm not clicking any save buttons. So it's already automatically saved. And this is, this is what we've been asking for a very, very long time. You have this icon notifying that everything is saved already. So I actually can undo or do things, but I will show you just in a moment this one. So right now my page is created and I want to start promoting it. So I can go to car, car home, my landing page, and I want to add it here for, for a promotion. So I go to add to a page and I have a component here. I just drag and drop, have my empty component, and I need to browse to a page that I want to promote. So let's pick it up. That's it, it's there. So the next step is I want to check how it will actually look like on different devices. So I want to simulate how things working on. So I click to simulation and I have my, my simulator right now showing me for the desktop. So I want to go and switch between different devices. Uh, right now it's iPad, I want to rotate, see how it goes, probably scroll a little bit check out how it will look like on the iPhone and also rotate this one, check yeah, pages there and 
fully clickable. And next thing, yeah, looks looks nice. So I'm I'm totally fine. So right now I don't have much data on it because I need to have a historical data what I have published it and how the page was evolving. So if I had those, you also will be able to navigate through this panel to just go back in the history and see how your page was actually working on and looking on. So um, I'm happy with this one and I want to go and publish this one. And it says the page is published. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow the LearnCycle hashtag for future videos.